on today's review, the cigar page Nicaraguan overruns. This one's in Maduro. Are they any good? Let's find out. So this is a, like I said, a Nicaraguan uh, Maduro. It's a Churchill 7x50. This is from the Cigar Page Overruns. Uh, they claim that they're different than mistakes or knockoffs, that these were scheduled to be some high brand. You know, they use names. Um, I'm not going to use them here, but they, they were going to be these high brand ones and cash flow problems, over order, orders get canceled, whatever. So these are supposedly the high quality cigars. Uh, they just didn't get banded. Let's see what it is. Give it a cut. I'm gonna use a V cutter today because this is a little bit smaller than what I normally smoke. Get toasted. All right. So, it's listed as having a mild to a full strength. Um, of course, as I said, it's a shapes chart, uh, Churchill. Origin is from Nicaragua. Uh, the wrapper is Maduro. And the filler is all Nicaraguan. It does claim that it is all long filler. Uh, it, like I said, these are from uh, Cigar Page. These are their overruns. Uh, their flavors they classify as rich and earthy. I'm not really sure what that means as far as earthy. Does that mean it tastes like dirt? That's always my thought. So I guess the initial puff after lighting, it's not bad. It is a bit on the strong side. So if you're not into full body, full flavored cigars, this one might not be for you. Uh, the draw seems pretty good. Uh, Flavor-wise, for me, I mean, it's just it's just strong tobacco flavor. I'm uh, not really getting anything else initially. We're only a couple of puffs in. Uh, let's see what else they say about it. So yeah, um, this comes from you know purchase orders getting canceled, productions being miscalculated, uh, other ill-timed crunches, stuff like that. Uh, you know, you still need to turn these cigars that they pre-made into dollars, so they kind of sell them with no bands and that's kind of thing. They're trying to say, you know, make no mistake, these are not mistakes or knockoffs or something like that. These were supposed to be big names, um, just in a generic bundle. So, now we got all that crap information out of the way. Uh, Flavor-wise, so far... Uh, all I really get is just strong, strong tobacco flavor. Um, I can't really, I can't really place anything else in it. Yeah, I mean, there's just not. Well, we'll see how it develops. The good thing is with these, that a lot of them that I've had, uh, you don't have the stems. You don't have uh, the, the the crap that comes inside a lot of the cheaper stuff. So, I mean, they've all been good, good amounts of tobacco. And I'm still, obviously, I haven't really smoked a whole lot of it yet. Uh, I'm still, I mean, it's just about, you know, the good thing is, there's not a lot of, not, not, not really a lot of harshness out of the, out of the smoke. It's, um, it's not... It's not a Monte Cristo or a Perdomo 
or something along those lines. But I mean, it's not the worst thing ever either. It, it's you know, you know, it, it, it's I would say at least initially it's worth its price. I'd love it to. Um, I really kind of feel like it. They just did it, it. It's too full. It's too strong, as far as the tobacco. They they didn't really put up a lot of other. It's like it's um, it's long filler, but it's all one type of long filler. That's kind of how I feel about it. But you know, it's still developing. You know, we're barely even half six puffs into this thing. So. Yeah, it's the, the smoke's not hot. It's not burning hot. It doesn't, you know. It's just, you know, it's a decent cigar for the price. It's um, it's just a, it's a cigar. There's no flavors or, or development or anything that's, that's really coming off the initial light of the cigar. But you know, we'll keep pushing through it and see, see what we get. So while we're, we're trying along here, I wanted to bring up, today I went to my local tobacconist, cigar store, whatever you want to call them. Uh, you know, I just went to pick up a few more cigars that I'm going to be doing some reviews on. And, uh, you know, walked in and there's a company there, one of the cigar companies, uh, CLE, uh, some of y'all might know of them. Uh, they're there doing an event and... You know, sat and talked with them for a little bit, talked about their cigars. And, of course, you know, the great thing about brick and mortars is stuff like that. I walk in, talk to some guys, talk to me about his cigars. You know, they're doing an event. You know, this particular event, you know, buy three, get one free. Buy four, get two free. Buy ten, get, I think it was a coffee mug and it's free cigar. Uh, you know, bought a box. You get a five pack of some cigars they don't make anymore. A t-shirt and some sign. I mean, if you really wanted to go down, there's some of the CLE, at least the ones that they were selling there, some within of the higher end, you know, we're talking $17, $18 a stick. And, you know, my wife only gives me so much budget for this crazy hobby. I don't think I, I think I need some approval before I go and spend $330 on a box of cigars. Just because I get a five extra cigars and a sign. But the whole point of this story is to point out that, you know, going to brick and mortars, you know, those, that's the type of stuff you're not going to get from an online store. Now that an online store doesn't have good stuff and not sometimes they don't have good, sometimes they have good prices, but you know, supporting that local brick and mortar can also, you know, yield some other benefits and come across some nice surprises. I've never had CLE cigars at all before. So, you know, that kind of, kind of interested me and you know, I thought they'd make some good reviews, you know, first time smokes and all of that. So that's why I bought them. I think about four, three, four, I don't remember. I'm also not going to provide my wife with video evidence of how many cigars I bought today. So, well, let me get a few more puffs into this, see what develops, and I'll be right back with you. So, yeah. About halfway through, had a little bit of unevenness, but you know, as long as you're rotating your cigar, it'll be all right. Uh, the flavors, I mean, the flavors are building in the aspect that I can taste. I mean, it's still just tobacco, but it's slightly stronger. I mean, it is a medium to full-bodied cigar, so I expect the flavors to be pretty powerful. And they only, they only gave it a rich, earthy, as far as a flavor identification. Again. I don't understand the earthy thing, um, and if by rich they mean powerful, it's rich. Uh, but you know, it's not a bad cigar. I mean, I could see, I could see if you smoke every day, um, you know, or if you smoke more than one cigar a day, you know, having this in there, um, definitely not a breakfast cigar. But uh, you know, maybe something you have lunch or you know midday. Um, it wouldn't be bad for a nighttime smoke if you don't mind full-bodied cigars. But, 
yeah um yeah you could also put these in your uh buy them and put them in your, your humidor and give them to your friends on poker night or whatever you know, guys who don't really smoke cigars but you know they want them for the cigar night or whatever you know um it's not going to impress anybody it's probably not going to get anyone hooked on it uh but you know it, it's a decent enough cigar that you're not handing them crap full of stems and everything else i mean all that's right there it's good it's just um if you're um if you're looking for a lot of bold flavors a lot of you know whatever good pairings with uh, wouldn't pair good with bourbon i would guess um i wouldn't mention it's to go with coffee um probably pair well with water it's just you know anything you drink with this it, the cigar is going to take it over that, that that's my big point here is it's just it's just not going to be a great cigar to pair with anything else I, I would think um you know it's doing okay with my beverage of choice um but i'm not really you know i drink that almost as often as i smoke cigars so Yeah, it's just, I was really hoping some more flavors would develop as we got halfway through, but we're not, so. Well, let's keep going and bring it on home and see if it changes there at the end. And so, here we are coming down to the end of it. Uh, it's not... And not really a change on the flavor. Um, it's pretty, I mean, it's consistent flavor. So I guess that's a positive. Uh, it's just, you know, it never really develops into anything. It's just tobacco. So, <clears throat> that's the Maduro Nicaraguan Overrun from Cigar Page. Overall, um, you know, Scale to one to ten, give it about a five. It's it's not bad, but it's um it's not the the premium fine cigar that many of you and let me prefer to smoke. You know, something with a nice, decent flavor. Yep, so thanks for tuning in and uh you know, hit the like button, subscribe, join the Legion, and uh, we'll see you for the next review.